Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. The situation is unchanged from yesterday's video. We need to keep options open for a direct breakout to the upside because Solana turned around here on the 15th of March and on the 10th of March in our trend reversal areas. Uh, it moved up impulsively here at least, right? Um, and I'm counting this as an A wave down, a B wave up and a C wave down. You could also get away with a WXY. In the scenario of a WXY, the move down would be finished but then I would want to see proof by making five waves up and three waves down. So what we ultimately are looking for for bullish confirmation um, is something like this wave one to the upside, wave two to the downside, things like that, right? That's how it should unfold ideally to the upside. Um, but I don't have strong confirmation yet other than a breakout of the descending wedge. Now they might always, you know, they shift and morph into something different. So I'm going to take that out, but it look well, we had a breakout either way. So let me take that line out at the moment. But what I cannot rule out at this stage is that this was just a way forward to the upside and we get one more low. Um, I would try to be very careful to not try to overanalyze this stuff here and try to understand every single wave because cryptos can turn around at an instant. And what is often more important are these trend reversal areas against which can be traded, right? I mean, we could now say, okay, possibly a five wave move to the upside, even though not a very clear one, because this last wave up was very weak. Um, and maybe we get one more wave up. Now that's a little bit unclear. If I align it with the theorem, we would expect one more small wave up. But either way, what does it need to do if we expect bullish continuation to the upside, and this could be a wave one, what is the level it needs to hold now? When we talk here about the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement. So it needs to hold $19.83 in a wave two to expect further continuation in a third wave. So that's the the real level, right? 1983, if it makes a sustained drop below that, I think we are still in this fifth wave, which would not be bearish. It would just mean we probably retest the yellow box again between $19.10 and 1732. If it finds support somewhere now in this orange box, so we've got support at $20.51, $20.20 and 1983, it has a chance to turn around to rally in a third wave. Um, and then we will also be able to talk about targets. I mean, I can give you, a, let's say, just an estimation where we might land. If this really was a wave one, we come down in two and maybe we come down all the way to 1983. From here, target of a third wave would be 2360. So that you just have an idea, right? But yeah, not much is happening. We're still sort of in the range and are waiting now for um, Solana to make a decision, for the market to make a decision. You should now know about the key levels. So 1983 is really the micro support level. I'm gonna take it off the chart again because it's too early really, but that's the key level. Um, if we break through it, we're probably still here in wave five to the downside, yeah, to complete the C wave of wave two. So I'm not happy to take the white count off the chart. I'm purely watching at the moment is if the yellow count is gonna work out, the direct breakout, um, but either way, the more important support is 1732. So if we come down in wave five, I'd be watching for 1837 or actually $19.10, 1837 and 1732. Below 1732, the chart will look, start to look a bit strange and we the bulls need to avoid a sustained drop below that level for generally upside continuation because we can say, okay, maybe this is the first one too. But if we make another low, I mean, it will start it later, as long as we hold above 1732. And eventually, if this overall count works out that we completed a larger wave two on the 10th of March, then um, eventually we should be looking at, yeah, 30, $40 plus in the next few weeks and months. All right, that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.